Hey guys, I have a current favorites video today. Um, I know everybody usually enjoys these, so I've been trying to do them more frequently lately, but I've also been trying to wait until I have enough stuff that I want to talk about. So, there's a good array of things here. I've got a couple makeup products, a couple skin products, a hair product, so I'm just going to get into it. I'll start with the kind of random things. The first one is these apple cider vinegar gummies. If you watch my vlogs, you know I've mentioned these a couple times. Um, I have to get a new bottle actually because this is like more than half gone now. But I recently learned that these, among a variety of other things they can help with, they help with... Um, <laughs> Why can I never remember what they're called? Ovarian cysts. Um, I was having an issue where they were starting to come back again. I was having this constant pinging, nagging pain in my left side. And I was trying to research like natural things that you can use to help shrink them or help them go away on their own. Um, which they usually do. Like before I got pregnant with Aiden, I had some and they would always go away on their own and not really cause me any pain or issues whatsoever but now I guess they want to come back and um, apparently these help because after three days of taking these you take two to three a day every day they don't taste the greatest they taste exactly like apple cider vinegar but like in a fruit snack form but I'm making myself take them because after three days the pain completely went away and I felt totally normal and then like right after that I got my period for the month and I had no cramps whatsoever so because I've read that they help with cramps too so it's really true and <laughs> if you have any of those issues start taking the apple cider vinegar gummies like you can just take shots of apple cider vinegar too but I've opted for the gummies because I really don't enjoy the taste of apple cider vinegar but those have been awesome so highly recommend those <laughs> and then um, do I have anything else that's not like beauty related uh, I guess I will talk about my little mini waffle iron this everybody was asking if I got this from Target because Target has this too but the Target one is all black on the outside I got mine from Amazon and it's got skulls all over the outside so what this looks like on the inside is it's a normal waffle pattern here but then it's a skull on the bottom and it's super cute it's about the size of like um, the frozen Eggo waffles so you can like make a bunch of these and freeze them and put them in the toaster someone mentioned that to me on Instagram and I was like that's an awesome idea because Aiden never used to like waffles and I got him to eat them when I got this thing. I don't know if it's because it's got a cool picture on it or what, but he loves waffles now, so um, it's got some oil on here because you do have to spray with a non-stick spray. It says that you shouldn't have to, but you totally do because it will stick to the top if you don't. Um, but yeah, these are super cute. They have a pumpkin one too. Um, if you get it off Amazon, the brand is Dash, D-A-S-H. Um, I do have one, like a little egg cooker from them too, but if you get it off Amazon, they have a whole ton of different colors. They have like a cheetah print one, they have like pink, red, blue, like your basic kitchen colors that anybody would have uh, colored kitchen appliances. Um, and they also have a heart shaped one for Valentine's Day, the pumpkin one. Um, too bad there's not like a ghost or something, but I really have been enjoying this. It's super cute. Um, it does, like, it's only a single one, so it does take a lot of making them, <laughs> but, uh, like I said, you can freeze them, but it does cook relatively fast. Like, you put maybe, like, three tablespoons worth. I've got it down now so that it doesn't ooze out, but I've got a pretty good, um, knack of eyeballing it now but it only takes like a minute to cook each one so it's not that bad and super cute and Steven actually didn't hate it for once he usually hates when I get gimmicky kitchen appliances or anything like that but that one was a plus for him so next I'm going to talk about this deodorant that this is a fail this one um, 
the brand Hello came out with deodorant, so I wanted to try it. It's another all-natural deodorant. Their toothpaste is really nice. I've had the adult one and then I've bought the the kids one for Aiden multiple times. They have like a watermelon flavored kids toothpaste. Those are fine. Never had issues with the toothpaste. The deodorant though, this is fresh, fresh citrus. They had a couple different scents. Smells awesome. It's a very like fresh clean scent, but it does nothing. Like <laughs> you'll smell nice for maybe an hour and then it just doesn't work anymore. That I have that issue with a lot of natural deodorants. That's all I've been using lately is natural deodorant and the only one I've ever found that actually works and keeps you smelling nice all day is the native one. I'm almost out of this one. I should have just got another one of these but they're like $12 and I hate spending $12 on a stick of deodorant. This one was like 6 so I gave it a shot. Uh, they sell it on Ulta, and I'm sure any drugstore or Walmart or wherever sells deodorant will have these now, but totally not worth it. It's like, I used it for maybe three or four days, and I'm like, I can't go around applying this all day long, reapplying it, because I feel like I stink, so definitely a thumbs down to the Hello deodorant. Um, and while we're on the... the subject of this. I know the La Vanilla one gets a lot of hype. That one is horrible too. The La Vanilla deodorant that's like $13-14 for a stick of deodorant is the same exact thing as the Hello. It, might, it lasts a little bit longer, but I just feel like I stink halfway through the day if I don't reapply it. So the only, the only brand of natural deodorant that has worked for me is Native. And I'm just going to stick with this one, I guess. This was lavender and rose, which I didn't love the smell of, but the fact that it actually worked made me happy. I'm going to have to get another one of their... I've had the coconut one before, and then I wanted to try a different one, so I got this one. I guess it does last a pretty long time for uh, the price, so it's not that bad. Um, I'm just going into more scented stuff. I have talked about this before. I actually just had to get another bottle. This one's not even open yet uh, because I just threw my other one away because it was empty. And it's very rare that I finish up an entire bottle of perfume. This is a small bottle. Um, phone's going off with a random 800 number. Um, this is a small bottle. Unfortunately, you can't get it bigger than this, but this is the Clinique My Happy line, which they have a bunch of different scents of My Happy perfume, and this is the Coco and Cashmere one. And it's only this big. It's an ounce. Is it an ounce or a half an ounce? Hold on. It's only a half an ounce, okay? That's as big as they make them, which absolutely sucks, but this smells so amazing. Um, it's like, when you hear cocoa, you think chocolate, and this doesn't smell like chocolate. This is a very, like, kind of on the idea of the cashmere glow scent that Bath & Body Works used to have, but it's more rich and just super soothing and calming. I just, I love this perfume so much, and I hope they don't stop making it, because I know some of these, like, little ones that they do are, like limited edition sometimes and it sucks because this little thing is like twenty dollars for half an ounce of perfume but it smells so good and it lasts all day long so it's one of those perfumes that's worth it because you can still smell it on yourself at the end of the day um next thing is a skin related item well a foot related item i really love the brand soap and glory they have so much stuff i don't think i've ever bought anything from them that i've disliked i love all their scents in their uh lotions and stuff and this is the heel genius amazing foot cream marble this just makes your feet super soft i always have an issue with like dry heels and super dry feet and this has been awesome. I will, I've been putting, like, you only need the tiniest amount. Um, it's kind of a thick, a thick gel type cream. Cream lotion, whatever you want to call it. It smells really good. It's got kind of like a, it's just really clean. And it says, Allentoin 
glycerin, macadamia oil, menthol, but it doesn't smell menthol-y, which I like. Bilberry, orange and lemon fruit acid, orange and lemon fruit acid smoothers. So it's just, I've been taking a little dollop of it for each foot. Every time I take a shower, I will put this on my feet and then put my socks on. And my feet have been feeling awesome lately. So this is definitely another recommendation if you have dry feet. I've had this for like two or three months now and it's not even halfway gone so you really don't need a lot. I've been using it, I don't think I've missed a day since I bought it of using it. Um, and then this, some people are probably going to laugh at me because this is a product marketed for children um, but, and it's funny I'm, I've got my hair straight right now but when you've seen me lately with my hair curly all the time, I've only been using this. And it's crazy to me how well this works, because this was cheap. This was only like $5. This is the Just For Me Curl Piece 5-in-1 Wonder Spray with flaxseed avocado oil and castor oil. So this is like a leave-in conditioner type thing. Again, marketed for children. But I've never used anything that works this good on my curls. Like. It makes your hair silky without feeling greasy or oily or weighed down, which can happen a lot with curl products. And it definitely helps frizz, which is one of my major concerns when my hair is curly. It gets very frizzy, especially when it's been humid a lot lately. But this is just awesome. I definitely, re this is, it smells like coconut, like a very light coconut scent, but smells really really nice this is about halfway gone I've had this for a couple months now and use it every time I wash my hair and leave it curly I just put this on when I get out of the shower kind of comb it all through and then I let it air dry especially in the summertime because I don't like using a blow dryer but the last night it was nice and uh, cool in the house so I was like you know what I'm gonna straighten my hair because I just colored it and it's really dry and now I'm not so sure that I love it straight right now because my hair is super dry and you can tell more when it's straight how dry it is. But yeah, I definitely, if you have super curly hair and are always struggling with it, this makes it so much easier to deal with. So definitely check this out. I got this one from Target. I'm pretty sure. I ordered it on the Target website one day, like on a whim, because I had to add like five more dollars or something to get free shipping, and I was like, I'll try a new curl product, and this came up, and I was like, okay, let's try this out, and it has just turned out to be awesome for me, so. The last couple of things, let me check my list, I, made, I make a list on my phone throughout the month so that I can decide what to make fa a favorites video on. Um, the last couple things that are makeup related are of course the KVD Vegan Beauty Shake Primer. I've really been enjoying this especially now that I've got a better uh, handle on how to use it. I just take the one drop and then kind of mush it between my fingers and then put it on like that been using it every single day it has not gone down much well every single day that I wear makeup it has not gone down much at all so I can tell this is gonna last a long time definitely worth a try if you're looking for a new eye primer it just works so good it grabs your eyeshadow like nobody's business and a lot of times primers that are sticky like that can make it hard to blend matte shades and they just want to grab into the like the outer corner and not blend out I don't have that issue with this one, which is a huge plus. And then the last thing is, I wanted to put every ColourPop palette that I've been getting lately in my favorites video, but that was just going to be overkill. So the Candy Castle palette that came with the Candyland collection, just everything about this is so cute. The packaging, the colors, I love that they took the Candyland theme but kind of made it pastel and super pretty instead of Candyland was always colorful but it was never pastel colors and then it's a very like ice cream themed palette when I first saw the color story my eyes just went to the pastel colors and I was 
I was like, am I going to use that that much? But I like that they included colors like this pink. I have the pink on the outer corner today. Um, I used this palette today on my eyes. And then like the darker colors, the uh, beigey color and the brown, just help bring them all together so you're not getting just a pastel eye look. You can, can use those darker colors too. <laughs> but a couple of them make a mess, like the, the purple one. I went way too hard into that. I was expecting it to be harder packed than it is and I kind of, I hope I don't have fallout all over my face, but I used that purple color in the middle of my lids and it kind of went everywhere. Yep, it's still in stock. The uh, Candyland palette is still in stock on their website. Not much of the other stuff is though. I know last time I checked pretty much all the other stuff was sold out. Um, but if anything, they usually restock their eyeshadow palettes from collections like this. I know they just restocked the Mulan one. I never got that one. It just seemed it was not exciting to me whatsoever, and I'm just like, eh. I'm kind of over how many neutral palettes they have lately. But, um, yeah, that's it for my favorites. Um, I should... St <laughs> All I'm doing is stuttering. I should go back to calling it monthly favorites because I feel like I did one around this time last month. I don't remember when my last one was, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video.